guys, how are you? Um, today Today we are going to do a project um, that kind of takes into consideration whether we have um, certain materials or not. So I know everybody's at home. You might want to do a little watercolor and not have any watercolor paint. So I am going to teach you a trick <clears throat> um, so that you can get the same effect as watercolor, but we're going to use magic markers. So um, for For today's project, you're going to need some thicker paper. If you have watercolor paper, that's great. Um, again, you know, like if you don't, you can always, because it will get a little bit warped with the water, you can always put it underneath a book after and it, it will flatten it out. But if you have thicker paper, go ahead and use that. Um, you'll need some water I've got my water here you'll need a paintbrush and you'll need a black marker like a black permanent marker so like a sharpie um, or like a jelly pen so that it's permanent and then you're going to want some markers that are not permanent you want um, like water-based markers, so like Crayola markers um, or anything like that will work. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to lay down a background on this piece of paper. Um, and again, we're going on the assumption that we have no watercolors. What are we going to do? Because we want to get that nice watercolor background, but we don't have any watercolors. So you are going to grab your markers. I picked red, orange, yellow, and purple. Just like paint, your markers will um, blend together and say you try to mix a red and a green because they're opposite on the color wheel, it's just going to make brown. So you want to be a little bit mindful about what kind of colors you use. So if you're looking at your color wheel, <clears throat> you can use the colors on either side. So, um, or you can use colors in a row. So I'm going red, orange, yellow. Um, and we'll get a little bit of purple in there because that will mix with the red. I'm going to kind of keep it near the red though and not try to mix it with the orange. But what you're going to do is take your markers and you're just going to color in some spots. We're just doing some scribbles. It doesn't have to be anything um, neat or a drawing or anything like that because we're just trying to get a background um, and I'm just trying to make sure that I get each color on all portions of my paper. And have fun with this. There's really no right or wrong to getting it down. You're just we're just getting it down. All the magic is going to be when we, we get that brush going. And then I'm going to take my purple and I'm just going to put some purple in near the red. I'm going to keep it away from my orange just because I don't want it to turn into brown. So you can look and see. That's it. I just got to bunch of scribbles all over my paper that's it okay so we have our, our scribbles we have all the scribbles all over our paper the next thing we're gonna do is take our brush and we're gonna get it 
dipped a little bit in the water. Um, oops. You might also want to have a paper towel on hand just so you can dab it off so you're not soaking the paper. And you're going to put that wet brush down on your marker and you're going to be able to start to move those marks around. They're going to, let me see if I can show you. Um, as you put the water on it, the, the ink sort of spreads and that red and the orange and the yellow all start to mix together, just like paint. And you're just gonna do that all over your paper. Um, and just blend those colors in. And the more you kind of go over the, the marks, the less they will look like marks and the more it will just be color blending together. I was thinking that what I would really love to do, I'd love to do, like you know how sometimes you go to um, like a sip and paint, so you can go someplace and you can have um, drinks and snacks and there's a teacher who teaches you how to paint a flower or paint a scene. I was thinking that that might be fun for one of our lessons, but I wanna know from you guys what you wanna learn how to draw and what you want to learn how to paint. Um, so if you're watching this and you have ideas, either let me know or let Dana know and she can let me know and um, maybe next week we can do um, something like that. But again, I'd like to, to be able to do something that, that you guys want to learn how to do. So pick your subject matter. So you'll see on this outer ring, I did triangles. I think I'm going to fill in every other triangle. So it doesn't have to just be lines. You can use your color as a pattern too, but I think I'm gonna um, do every other. So I'll do that and then I'll show you. So you can see I'm just filling in the top triangle so it's going to look a little bit like a sun as you go around. So I've got my 
my circle patterns going around you can see and then I think I'm gonna around the edge almost make like sunflower petals so it won't be completely round on the very outer ring and I'm just gonna do these up really quick to give you an idea mandala. I didn't actually complete this one because I wanted to show you how to do it, but I've actually been doing a lot of mandalas lately um, because I do find them very relaxing. So here's a couple more, but you can see how um, that marker all blended together just makes a really cool background and it pops through um, your pattern. So I hope you guys had fun today. I miss you like crazy. Um, and I hope I see you soon. Bye guys. <laughs>